Let's go into our last segment of the show. Possibly my favorite segment that we do today, and we've done two that I really enjoy. But this one is who should be the cover athlete for EA Sports' NCAA football video game coming out this summer. Or allegedly coming out this summer. Because I play video games like y'all play video games. And, 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 and uh, EA, get it right, dog. That's all we're saying. You know what I'm saying? Don't let this be mad. We care about this one. You got to get this one. We've been waiting on this. Name, image, and likeness exists for this. This is the reason. Get it right. So here are the five that I think we could see on the NCAA cover, but I don't, I don't know how courageous they're going to be down there at Electronic Arts, be messing up Star Wars games or whatnot. Anyway, number five on the list, I got actually three names, but you understand what I'm doing here. Prime, Shadur, and Travis. You understand what I'm saying here? You put Prime in the middle, you have him flanked by them two boys, you understand what time it is, because that is what college football is today. It is very much them, right? They are cool. People love to watch them. People show up to watch them on television. And until Caitlin Clark started doing what it do, Shadour Sanders had the best-selling jersey on Fanatics. That's no small feat given who else plays college football. You know what I'm saying? Say Caleb Williams, for instance, right? Say J.J. McCarthy, right? But Shadour was that guy. And Colorado wasn't even good, especially in the second half of the season. I think that if you want to move the units, you want to get the kids and the kids' kids to buy the video game in droves, that's what you do because all the youngsters love them some Coach Prime. Their parents love them some Coach Prime. Their mama loved them some Coach Prime. They just don't want to say that out loud. I think that's a great way to go. I think that would be really on brand for 2024. Number four on the list, I'm going to get into some guys that perhaps should have been on the cover. If we'd have had the cover. So number four, I got Devontae Smith. What he did in 2020, let alone what he did in Nash Championship game in 2018, that merits mention. But the thing that stuck to me was we talk about Desmond Howard being on this game. Sure. I, yeah, they at one point, yeah, Desmond Howard was that dude. He uh, Heisman winner. And then we went damn near 30 years without no wide receiver winning the Heisman Trophy, and that guy was Devontae Smith, and nobody was upset about it. Like, that's the thing. He was that big a deal, right? And I think what he had done at Alabama also encapsulates what Alabama football was at the time Nick Nick Saban was coaching there. Like, the other guy that I was thinking about was Derrick Henry, but given what the game means and given how long it's been since Derrick Henry played college football, Devontae Smith just fit for me. Uh, I could also throw a Jalen Hurts in there, but you understand what I'm saying here. Number three on the list, I got Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor, I think, is the safest selection for this because Trevor did not win the Heisman Trophy, right? Even though we can make an argument for each of the three years, mostly, mostly each of the three years. But we didn't know who he was going to be. In 2018, remember that dude came off the bench as a true freshman and led Clemson to the national championship. He's the first guy to do that since my man Jamel Holloway did it in 1985 at Oklahoma. That deserves its own honor. And the thing that I always try to reference when I talk about Trevor Lawrence and the way that I'm going to talk about him in the future when the kids ask me, RJ, how good was this guy? Because they'll say, hey, he didn't win the Heisman. They'll say, hey, he only made first-team All-American one time, and that was a year in which he probably should have gone to Mac Jones. But the Football Writers Association of America was smart. Shout-out to my guy, Shehan J. Araja, who kind of pointed this out. If they had not made certain that Trevor Lawrence was a first-team All-American, he's not even considered for the College Football Hall of Fame. And given what Trevor Lawrence had done at Clemson, you know, winning, <laughs> I don't know that we could have a college football Hall of Fame that doesn't let him into it. So even if you got to manipulate it by saying we're going to vote for him because he deserves it, that's what you do. And I think I would much rather, and I think you would understand this, be on the cover of a college football video game that everybody plays rather than win the Heisman Trophy. That's just me. That That's who I am, because that's that's how I came to love the sport. And not for nothing, but we put Joey Harrington on the cover 
of NCAA. To which the kid would be like, who they said what now? Exactly. Joey Harrington. So don't tell me about Trevor Lawrence when you know that Joey Harrington gets to display this at his house. And if you are me and you still got your jewel boxes over here, you got to see Joey Harrington on the wall over there. At Oregon, before Oregon was anybody at all. Put Trevor Lawrence on there if you come to it. But you know what? I got two more for you to go to. I got two more. Number two on the list, LSU quarterback Joe Burrow. You know what time it is. 2019 Heisman winner, 2019 national champ. My man showed up being Joe Cool, making the money sign, making it do what it do. I have come to really love Joe Burrow because of his get down, right? Like at first I thought it was kind of act because, you know, some dudes are just cocky to be cocky. That's just who he is. And you know why I know that is who he is? Because Justin Jefferson follows him, right? Because we got to see what it looks like when he is throwing bombs. Like, nobody made, I, I think to say, if you were talking about a quarterback that could have done what Joe Burrow did, given the assets that he had, maybe, but they didn't do it. He did. Okay? You're looking around at what he had at his disposal, and you're going, yeah, 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 I could have won it, but you didn't. Not only did you not, he went into the NFL and proved it wasn't a fluke. Want that dude to be healthy for another year, but you get what I'm saying here. I think Joe Burrow would be a really great addition uh, to the collective jewel box cases over here of cover athletes because of what he did in 2019, what he means to the sport. And then number one, the dude that his owed, his cover, Louisville quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Like, for those of y'all that have only played NCAA 14 because us old dudes make y'all play it, here's what you got to understand. We didn't allow anybody to play with Mike Vick and Madden. Because it was cheating. Mike Vick has said Lamar Jackson better than me. Lamar Jackson might also be faster than Mike Vick. And I can't tell y'all what Mike Vick meant at Virginia Tech. He blew out dudes ACLs in the same game by shaking them. And Lamar Jackson is more than capable. We know this for the Heisman Trophy that he won. We know this for the unanimous MVP that he won and the second MVP that he won in 2023. But I can't think of a dude that better encapsulates what we were all doing on the joysticks because I am running five wide, running five wide because every play is run pass option before they call it run pass option because my quarterback's going to have some wheels because if I ain't got a quarterback that's got no wheels, I'm not playing with him. That's why you couldn't play with Lamar Jackson because he's going to shake you like a bowl full of jello and then he's going to throw a ball 80 yards for the TD, okay? Like if the game would allow me to met Lamar, uh, a Lamar Jackson type Play safety, I would have done that too, right? That's who this game is for. That's what this game is about. Us to be on the sticks, right? Us that are trying to get the CPU timing down so that we can click the triangle button and make sure that we got the user option to go pick this pass off because you put that ball in the air against me, it's mine. Just that's just going to oh, I'm gonna be talking so much noise on the Twitch. Come see me. Oh, I'm fine. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I hope you are too. Like honestly, because this is this is fun. Uh tell me who you think should be on the cover of the NCAA football game when it drops this summer. And uh EA Sports, uh, don't don't hide. Don't come out here with no banner. Don't come out here with no yard marker. Put a dude right there on the cover. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. All right. If you like what you've seen. Consider subscribing to the number one college football show on YouTube, the Fox Sports app, or wherever you get your podcast.